Hello honey mini Orioles, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tunike Ogunbemi and in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use Common App to apply to different colleges. She wanna fight, she wanna fight, to become something more. So, there are two different types of um, Common Apps, there's the Common black college app and there's the common app so the common black college app is just hbcu so if your mind is just fixed on applying to hbcus i advise you to use the common black college app you get me but if you you know you just want to check you want to apply to pwis or you want to apply to hbcus and you just want to do a you know a mixture of a, a dash of both then I advise you to use the general common app and in this video I'm going to be using the general the general common app to explain how to, to apply to colleges using common app. Stay tuned and let's get right into the video. So I'm going to search for common app. Common So yeah, this is how it should look like. It does upgrade their um the software, so this is the latest version. So if you're a first year student, you have to create an account. And if you're a transfer student, you have to create an account. I'm going to be using the first year student to explain how to um, use the common app to apply to uh, colleges. So you sign in, you have to when you create a contact, you just need your Gmail and your password, your Gmail or whatever mail you use, then you create a, a password. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. So yeah. Here you have your dashboard, your colleges, common app, college search, and financial source, financial aid resource. So, what we're we gonna do? We're gonna come to um, if you go to my colleges, you have to like, there's nothing there, so you have to come to common app. Well, before you go to common app, I'll tell you to yeah, you have to come to common app. Then you need to fill out all this information: your writing, activities, testing, education, family. You have to do all of that. So once you do that and you already saved it to your um, common app, um, what would I call it? Your common app profile, you come to college search. You can either use the filter if you already have like a screen in mind or something. You can just use whatever filter you want. You can, you know, you have like now doing 17 colleges. And if you don't want to use the filter, what can you do? You can see that. 917 schools here so let's just pick any school for like um so you just need to click here and it adds the college you want so once that is done it, the financial aid resource this is um it don't concern us right now so once you add you go you come to your my colleges that's where you're going to find um where whatever school you've added that's where it's going to go to then if you want to add more colleges, you can come here to add a college. Pick another one. Let's let's pick the school I am in currently. Fisk. You add this one. So that's how it is. So you come to my colleges. Then let's fill application for this school. So here you have the contact information of the school, the college website. You have the number. Um, if you have to pay any application fee. You know the deadlines and all those good stuff then you also have like the requirements they'll need a personal essay you see common app personal essay is required college question done so yeah i have all these informations when you come here then you now have to come to questions so for whatever school you're applying to i can ask you fall 2021 or spring fall is um august september and spring is also spring is from uh january february then once you feel this preferred admission plan then come here i think this school doesn't have um that much information so let's let's go let's let's go back to my college let's go to my colleges then let's use my let's use fisk university so same thing goes here this school you don't need my school you don't need um it's optional when you come to questions so yeah this is where you find a whole lot of questions let's see you have academic question activities contacts family you need to fill all of them 
so let's go to academics um my previous video i already um gave you guys a list of documents that you need when thinking of applying to um colleges so i'm very sure you've probably scanned them on your laptop if you need to um, um upload it here and if the school would require you to um email uh, mail it to them that would be nice and once you apply to all these schools along the line they'll give you updates of what they want you to send to them so if whatever course you want to study shows you the course let's say you want to do sociology activities you know if you want to come to the school to play sports you can just you might as well um put in whatever you do before then your contacts you know this yeah, your family Yes, so this way if you love all those questions then recommendations and FERPA so this is before you continue your application you need to know your current or most recent so you have to go to the education section so literally in the um, common app setting when you put the education if let's say if you fill it out it won't show you that kind of thing but because like I didn't fill anything out so that's why it's showing me that's where you know you get so if you have all those documents ready that you need to do you just upload them if they ask you for a high school transcripts and whatever so let's come back to my colleges so we're using Fisk university and we're in questions so once you feel this yeah and um, when you feel all of that you come to review and submit your application so you're going to review these are all the things you have to review and make sure it is properly filled up before you submit your application and once that is that you should get an email and if you don't get an email immediately, you just have to keep waiting. And you can apply to as many, many, many colleges as, as, as much as possible. You know, you can just do so many. You can do whatever you want. And once that is submitted, definitely get an email. And whatever email you want to get um, um, notifications from, that's what you should use. Let's say, don't don't um, put another, two different emails. You're going to get confused because you might not be able to monitor both. So just use... A specific email to get all your notifications so yes so once you do all of this so to monitor your um schools you've applied to this is where you come to your dashboard and that's that about that as far as this is concerned i hope this is very very helpful